55 cents a gallon yesterday. Now, as gas prices soar, lawmakers trying to pass legislation to keep more money in your pocket. Capital correspondent Jamie Deline explaining how they would like to help relieve some of the financial burden on New Yorkers. From driving your kids to school to picking up groceries at the store, every time you drive your car, it's costing you more at the pump. And now, even more so. You're going to pay your NIMO or you're going to put gas in your vehicles to go to work. It's sort of kind of like, or you put food in your table and not travel as much. These are tough decisions families are having to face. These are costs that are just astronomical. And we're asking people to, to, to basically buckle up. No, we need to do, we need to give them some relief. We need to give them some hope. Republican Senator Peter Oberacker represents Central New York. He is now sponsoring the New York Gas Tax Relief Act that, if passed, would suspend New York's gas tax until September. Currently, I'm told New York's tax on gasoline is about 48 cents per gallon, and diesel fuel is nearly 47 cents per gallon. 50 cents a gallon, as I said, could save up to $1,200 a year for a family uh, living in a city like Schenectady. Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara is trying to pass similar legislation, but his would suspend the gas tax for a full year. So what does this mean to the trucking industry? They have reached out to me. 50 cents a gallon could save them more than $50,000 a year on shipping. Uh, just on average, that savings would be passed down directly to consumers. When asked about suspending gas tax today in Rochester, Governor Hochul saying this. It's not settled yet. It's absolutely under review. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jamie DeLine. Thank you, Jamie. Now, the rising cost of gas not discouraging some from taking to the roads. One of the reasons gas prices are so high is the interest in traveling, as many are finally getting out and about after two years.